Okay, this is scene seven, take four, and mark it. And action. Come in. Father Merlin, have a seat. Paul told me you went to see him as well. Yes, he, uh, he informed me that this time he planned to send Blanco to prison for a very long time. Paul's a good man. Struggled to save that boy for years, even though I told him many times that his efforts would be in vain. Guess he had to realize that the hard way before he finally gave up. Well, I'm not ready to give up just yet. And why do you feel responsible for this boy's future? His mother. She's a parishioner of mine. She made me promise that if anything happened to her, that I would look out for the boy. And I assume something did happen to her. You know, I presided over a, a lot of cases involving young men with tragic pasts, and I decided a long time ago that I would never give any of them a second chance. <laughs> Not because I'm cold-hearted, but because I knew that if I did give them a second chance, they would be doomed to just go right back out and repeat their original sins. I understand. No, you don't. May I ask you a religious question, Father? Of course. Do you believe in predestination? I suppose that I share the view of Heraclitus on that one. Character is destiny. That's correct. And who chooses what our characters will be? We do. Really? Do we choose our genetic makeup? Our parents? Who we fall in love with? Do we choose the gifts that will help us soar to the heavens? Do we choose the faults that will sink us to the depths of hell? No, sir. But we choose what we'll do with those gifts. We are what we are, Father. From the very beginning, there is never a choice to be made. Okay. May I ask you a legal question, Your Honor? Yes. If there is no such thing as free choice, then why do we punish the guilty? If nobody has any choice to begin with, then nobody's guilty of anything they do. Well, that's the great tragedy of civilization, isn't it, Father? At the end of the day, everyone is innocent, but we still must treat them as if they had a choice not to be. And that is my destiny, to carry out this cruel and absurd judgment. So you agree that this judgment that you're about to minister to Blanco is both cruel and absurd? Yes. And yet, he and everyone he loves will be safer with him in prison. Trust me, Father. What if I take full responsibility? Then you will be committing the one sin for which there is no forgiveness. What sin is that? Interfering with fate. And what is the punishment for that sin, Judge Delphin? Your soul, Father. The boy will be entrapped in the same vicious cycle from which he escaped, and breaking him out will cost you your very soul. Now, are you sure you ready to make that sacrifice?
Krank.